Where the hell am I? Have I been here before? No. <laughs> what is this doing in the bathroom? Freaking, like, medical tray thing. From David Annapurna to HR sources at Murkoff. Request for reassignment. To whom it may concern, this is my third time asking for reassignment after two months without an answer. I don't want to work at Mount Massive anymore. I've been an orderly my entire adult life, but have never experienced such a consistent level of secrecy and disrespect. I even have suspicions that some of the patients may be being abused. I know personally of two of them who have been moved to the basement ward and never returned. If I don't get an answer to this email, I will be forced to resign, and may very well consider contacting the press. Thanks for your time. Wait a minute, is that the person... Um, may very well consider contacting the press. Is this the person who actually contacted me? David Annapurna. Did it have a name? The Whistleblower. From... Hmm. You don't know me. Okay, well, it doesn't say, but... Yeah, it uh, definitely could have been that person. An orderly. A disgruntled orderly orderly that was not happy with what he was seeing. Alright, I think that's it. Don't think there's anything else in this place. Ooh, there's the key. Really? Alright. Oh my god, I'm scared. How the hell do I get out of here? Oh, I need to go back the way where he just came from. Right. Look, dude, can we just cut this short? Can you just run at me? Okay, great. Bye. And then I'll just, like, close this door. Oh, God, I didn't want to open that. I wanted to close it. Here we go. No, I, I want to fucking close it, dude. Come on. Whatever. And then I'm like, oh, my God. I'm, like, totally scared. And then I'm like, press the button. And then, yeah, okay, bye. Okay. I'm not giving up on you. We're done with that section. No, or maybe we're not. Okay, what do I need to shake? Come on. What, what am I gonna shake? Left or right? Left and right mouse? Oh, I'm not shaking anything. He's actually gonna get cut in half almost. Cool. Alright. Well, that works. Um. Uh, oh, there we go. There's a hatch. Yeah, okay, so... If it isn't immediately... Obvi I, did I just make a note by look staring at his naked ass? What did you just write? Death of Traeger. Oh, I thought you were going to write something about his ass. How to make Traeger juice. Step one, squeeze. Okay, apparently the game isn't even taking itself seriously. I... Oh, okay. I'm not sure whether to laugh to that or just shake my head. What I was about to say, though, is that this game has now ceased to be really scary at all. It's creepy? But it's really not scary. And it doesn't even seem like the game is trying to be scary when you have notes like... How to make Traeger juice, step one, squeeze. Seriously? Yeah, that really adds to the atmosphere, guys. Good job.
yeah, I mean, there's so much, there's still so much I really like about this game. And I'm definitely going to keep playing, but they've really royally mishandled, they've royally messed up the horror aspect of this game. Really, really badly. Like, I was expecting there to be quite a bit of jump scares, but also some really good horror. And so far, it's like, I don't know. 50, I don't know, maybe like 50%, 25 to 50% jump scares, and the rest is just not good horror at all. I'm a bit disappointed, but also still incredibly impressed in many ways. Alright, where if that goes there, then what, what's up here? Nothing. That's what. Teamwork. Team Player Award, Patrick Petrina. Petrina? Employee of Murkoff Corporation who best exemplifies the team concepts. Good job, Patrick. Holy crap, is that the priest guy? I think it is. And this is a very big hallway. Disturbingly large. I'm very suspicious of large rooms. I'm suspicious of large rooms and long hallways in horror games, because they make me think I'm going to need to run. Only, I don't see anywhere to hide. Thank God you survived. I feared that secular maniac would carve you up like the others. Leave me outside. We're close now. I mean, look, I got the I got the quest directive or whatever the objective before he even said it. It told me to find Father Martin outside before he even said, "Meet me outside." What the hell? I mean, God, if you're gonna have it, at least delay it so you hear the bit of information that triggers your objective to go out there before it actually appears. I mean, what? Weird. What the fuck? That's a camera. Somebody set some body parts on fire inside of a sink. Okay. Perfectly normal. Well, it looks like somebody changed in the changing room. They changed from alive to dead. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spend the rest of the game in here. Okay, everyone, I'm, I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of Outlast. I'm just gonna be here for the rest of my life. Goodbye. From Traeger to somebody Walsh, subject Annapurna, and oh, Annapurna. That is the orderly. Mr. Walsh, please accept the immediate resignation of orderly blah blah blah, David Annapurna, and process him as a... 
oh my god, and pro and process him as a patient of Mount Massive to treat his perse persecutorial delusions. Treatment should continue until the time of his death. Thanks, buddy. Rick Traeger. Holy shit. Well, we know what happened to him. I hear fire and I see smoke. Yeah, there's a fire in here. Yep. Oh god. Alright, where do I go? Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Damn, this place is on fire. I had to burn it. All of it. Murkoff took so much from us. Used us. Turned us into these... things. Because nobody cares about a few forgotten lunatics. So let it burn. Burn the whole goddamn thing down. Get out. If you want to live, you can get out through the kitchen. Uh, okay. Cool. And apparently because I can get out through the kitchen, I magically know that I need to turn on the sprinkler system to extinguish the fire. Yep. Okay. Thank you, exposition delivering patient that was conveniently waiting here to deliver the exposition to me. Uh, sprinkler. <laughs> Hold on, I... I don't think I can see. Let me turn on my night vision so I can see better. Yeah. Perfect. Wait, is this where I just came from? I feel like this is where I came from. Maybe it's not? If you're seeing things, say something. There's no shame in psychopathological proximity stress disorder. Talk to your supervisor to get help from a Murkoff success counselor. Psychopathological Proximity Stress Disorder. Is that a real thing? I have no idea. Talk to your supervisor to get help from a Murkoff's success counselor. Yeah, more like talk to your supervisor to get committed and spend the rest of your life in here. Oh, that man really loved his desk. He's hugging it. Well, I love my desk too. I share your passion, sir. Goodbye. Actually, I don't really love my desk. It's kind of a piece of shit. Well, okay, it's okay. It's an alright desk. I'll give it that.
sprinkler room. Baths, cafeteria, laundry. Ooh, I could use a bath. Nice meal, a little shower. Yeah. There's no water in the system. Yes, you must first turn on the two va the two valves. Okay. So we're going with the two valve system again, huh? All right. It's only about four hours into the game, and they're already recycling stuff. Hmm, that's not good. I would be scared of you if it wasn't for the fact that you're very easy to avoid. Let's go ahead and close that. <laughs> it's a camera. A broken one. Well, no valves in here. Hmm. I think I'm going to hang out over here. Yeah. Dude, what the fuck, dude? It was open. The other door was open. Are you stupid? Oh god. That was a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. I hope I'm not going down a dead end. No, I'm not. Whew. Bath. Wonderful. Enjoy our luxurious spas, where you get to bathe in blood. Good for the skin. You can go next if you're a good little baby. No, thank you, sir. I am doing fine. See, look, that is the face of a man who is in utter bliss. He is so happy to be bathing in blood. See, he's just taking a nap. He's like, oh, yes. This is just what I've been waiting for my entire life. Uh, was it, isn't there another valve? Yeah, I think there's another one. Alright, where's the second valve? Oh, hey, dude. Hold on. Excuse me. Uh, just let me... You can't come in here, can you? Yeah, fuck off. That bastard is too fat to fit through here. I don't know what the hell happens with the shadowing at distances like that. Just look somewhere else, please. Alright, cool. Thank you. 
I'm very polite, that one. You're gonna like turn around, are you? Nah. God damn it. Whatever. Just hide in here. Unfortunately, there's only one. It's not a very good hiding spot. And that's a dead end. Shit. Thank god I could get up on that thing. Oh, wow, I'm not gonna get through there fast enough, am I? Oh, whew, I did. Okay, cool. Well, I think this place is new. Or is it not? Is, it, is this place new? No. No, it's not. Alright, where's that other valve? Hmm. Another dead end. Need one more, right? Yep. Uh, hi. Alright, um, where did I just go? I don't remember where I just turned on that valve. Bath, cafeteria, or laundry? Alright, I believe I've already been here, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, alright, so I've already done bath. The hell is he? Alright, he's over there. I've already been in here. I know it's not here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. We're in business. Oh, hey. Uh, what just... The fuck just happened? I think I just shut the door in my face. Or I glitched through the door. So please, how much do I have to replay? Please tell me I don't have to turn on the fucking valves again. Okay, I don't... know which ones I've done. Anyway, hey dude. What's up? Excuse me. Wow, smart AI actually. He predicted where I was gonna go. And of course, he's gonna be out here again. This time, let's not close the door. I just went into a dead end. Oh shit, oh god, is he gonna kill me? Or does it take three hits? He just severed my- he just ripped off my arm. That is very unpleasant. 
That didn't feel good. Okay, let's try that again. We're getting this down to a science. Might not even need to aggro him. Yeah, I can just go here. Okay, that's a dead end. Alright, let's try this again. It's kind of hard to get around him. Hey, dude. Excuse me. Alright, cool. And that's actually, that actually worked. Cool. I, I'm actually kind of going the wrong way, but hey, I'm safe at least. Hey, dude. Done with the bath yet? Nah, alright, enjoy yourself. It's cool, it's cool. Yeah, I see you. Just don't turn around, please. I think it's this way, right? Yep, here we go. Wow, really? Okay, apparently it, the save point is before you find any of the valves. Alright, well, let's go. What the hell are you breaking down? You stupid oaf. Alright, there we go. aggro to me. I'm gonna wait for him to pass. You realize you can't reach me, right? Okay, we're good. God, I can barely see anything. Okay, find Father Martin outside. Uh, okay, how do I get there? Well, back to the kitchen, I guess, but the question is, how do I get to the kitchen? Never mind, I guess I answered my question. Oh, do you even get, you even get water on the camera, don't you? You do. Nice details. Okay, well this look, yeah, the kitchen looks welcoming. I mean, wonderful pots and pans. What is that, stainless steel, cast iron? Probably not cast iron. Um, yeah, just, man, wonderful pots. Just look at those pots. 
Look at all this food. This place is so beautiful. Hey, dude. Oh, we got the mouse thing again. Okay. Let me guess, he locked it. Of course he did. I love what you've done with the place. Look at the splash of color. Well, I see this man got his severance package. I think that's a bowl of fingers. Bean taste. I don't I don't know what that says. Taste taste something. Wait a minute. Isn't this where Traeger pulled me through? I think it is. Oh, <laughs> there's the exit. Come on, everyone, I'm sure nothing's going to go wrong, right? I'm just gonna stroll out the front door. Totally. All right. Goodbye, everyone. It was nice knowing you. Just gonna stroll. That sounds lovely. Hold on, let me take a look over here first. I knew there'd be something. M culture program, CIA blah blah blah, excerpts to file. Subject, special research, Bluebird, one. General problem. For the past several months, Bluebird has been endeavoring to ascertain, by research, study, instruction, and some practice, what value, if any, can be derived from SI, sleep induction, and H, hypnotic, techniques, when applied to war and specific agency problems. Okay, that was a very awkward and complicated way of saying uh, Bluebird okay so I guess Project Bluebird is to ascertain what value sleep induction and hypnotic techniques can have when applied to war and specific agency problems right so they're somehow trying to use that for like I mean what are they doing weaponizing sleep <laughs> no I mean obviously not but what exactly are they doing? Hmm. Three. Can we create uh, by post... H. What is H? Hypnotic. Can we cr create by post-hypnotic control an action contrary to an ind individual's basic moral principles? Well, based on the research I previously saw, I guess the answer to that is yes. The whole gun thing. Seven. Can we guarantee total amnesia under any and all conditions? Eight. Can we alter a person's personality? How long will it hold? 17. What are full details on a sleep-inducing machine? What? Okay. Anyway, goodbye. Oh my god, this... Holy shit. This is amazing. The look of this, just every everything that I'm seeing here is blowing my mind. The rain on the lens combined with the flashes and the color and the light. Oh my god. This looks so unbelievably good. I'm flabbergasted.
What is that? Uh, Father Martin? Martin! Well, that wasn't there before. How alive are you? Well, um... My fingers are missing, but other than that, I'm fine. So I guess 98% alive? Subtract 1% for each finger? I don't even know your name, but I've come to think of you as one of my blood. My Paul. I hope you don't mind. And I hope you don't indulge the vanity of self-pity. The fear that your suffering is more than others. We all must endure this, and you are nearly done. There's no way to heaven but by the cross, and every man needs another to help drive the nails in. I am here for you. I am waiting ahead. Okay. You know you could have just told me that in person, right? Instead of leaving a, a note in a pile of blood in the rain. But, alright. That's cool. Hmm. Are these both locked? Well, I'm not sure where ahead is. It's obviously not here, because I can't go here. Okay, where do we go? This door needs a key. That's weird. I'm actually standing in the gate. Okay, that's kind of awkward. Anyway. I don't know where the hell to go. Search around the outskirts again. Seriously, this just looks amazing. Everything about this is like... Uh, it's like a freaking uh, a horror movie. It's so good looking, it's just like a horror movie, except I'm actually playing it. Oh, this looks promising. Here we go. There's a key. Okay, I'm gonna make a guess. Now that I've found the key, there are going to be monsters waiting for me out in the yard. Just a guess. What the fuck is that? I think that was the Wind Rider. that door? Here? No. Here? Here. Let's just close that door behind me. Yeah. Oh, God. I guess I just encountered a Windrider. Okay, I'm gonna shut that door. The thing in the dark. God help me, I think I've seen the Windrider. Or, oh, sorry, Wall Rider. Windrider, Wall Rider, whatever. What's the difference? It's a rider of something. The strange thing about it, though, is that I actually saw it. Whereas on that security cam, where it seemed to be flinging people, uh, the security guards or the SWAT members or whatever around, you couldn't actually see it. I 
I'm gonna reload my batteries here. Hmm. I guess I'm probably going up. Yes, I am. This looks safe. Where... Where's this going down? Oh. Hmm. Can I just... Fall... Oh, no, no, I can just do this. Yeah, here we go. I'm almost outside. I'm gonna get away from this place, right? I think I just go and do this. Yes. Ah. I, oh, there's a break in the gate. Have to get out. I'm trying. All right, here's my last battery. One more. that way. And not that way, and this is where I just came from. Now, it's gotta be up here. Prison block. What the fuck are you doing? Hold on, uh, I'm just gonna grab this battery. What are you? Oh, I thought he was like cutting himself or something. <laughs> kind of looked like he was jerking off in the corner. It's gotta be this way, I guess. Oh, here we go. Wait, where the hell is this gonna lead me? Um, alright. The hell am I now? I feel like I'm going backwards. Oh, shit. There's someone here. Oh, there's a little hiding spot. That's good. Ah, okay. Now, where do we go? This way? Is 
this going to take me outside? Hmm, taking me over the gate. I don't know what the hell's down here, though. Oh, Alright, this should work. Ow. Kind of overshot that a bit, but alright. As if, as if my view could be any more distorted. Now I'm hurt. Where the hell am I? I don't remember this. This is some different spot than the beginning. It's like a gazebo. I don't remember a gazebo. Where the hell am I? I can't see shit. I cannot see anything. Okay, here we go. Here's something. Oh, shit. Okay, let's go this way. Juking him. Juking him. Reload. MLG reload run. Yeah, you're too fat to get through. New objective, find Father Martin inside the female ward. <laughs> so what, am I not getting out then? Oh, God. Okay. So much blood in the water, I can smell it. Like putting a penny in your mouth when you were a kid. The whispers are making more sense. I'm looking for static. It's like an itch. The whispers are making more sense. That's not a good thing. That's a very, very bad thing. Female ward. Martin! Marty! Marmar! Where were you hiding? Ah, here we go. Wonderful! Back inside! I love being inside of this building. You saw the wall rider, didn't you? You're beginning to understand, but not yet. Even Abraham had to cast his eyes to the ground. But soon, soon, this way, revelation is at hand. Yes, viva la revelation. Sorry, what was that? Re uh, use the upper, yeah, okay. If you haven't noticed already, um, <laughs> which you probably have, I'm not taking this game seriously at all, because I can't. I it's just too ridiculous. Remember, this is the game that said how to make Tra Traeger juice. Step one, squeeze. The game isn't even taking itself seriously. So I can't. I, I always try to give games, like, I always try to get in the headspace of a game. Like, I try to get into whatever mood the game wants me to get into, and obviously with a horror game, that mood is, well, horror. It wants you to be scared. But this game is too ridiculous for me to be scared. For the most part. I mean, it can be scary a little bit, and it's very creepy, but I I'm making fun of it because it's really ridiculous. So I, I don't want you to think that I, like, didn't give the game a, a fair shot, or something like that, or I'm, you know, purposely uh, purposely ruining the mood 
by making jokes and stuff. It's just that I can't take it seriously anymore. And if I'm not going to take it seriously, then I might as well make jokes. I tried. I tried to take it seriously. I gave it a fair shake. It failed. But oh well. Thankfully, that's not the only thing this game has to offer. That didn't sound good. Oh, hey. Hey, what are you doing in the female ward, man? This is for females only. It's inappropriate. What is that? I literally don't even know what I'm looking at. What is that? The sound in the machine. The sound in the machine, like the sound in my head when the wall rider appeared. I blink and I see static. And I see static. Something else. Something oily and dark descending behind my eyelids, watching me with organs I can't imagine. But the sound is coming from the machine, too, from inside the walls. I know that sound. Okay, it's official. I've gone crazy. Laundry. Oh, hey. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Hey, dude. Alright, I'm just gonna close this door in your face. Is that cool with you? See, he's cool. He's cool with it. He's, he's a nice man. He might appear angry at first, but, you know, he's chill. Hey, dude. Oh, I just realized they can't see me because it's pitch black. And I have no more batteries. Okay, I think I'm gonna go. Uh, could you please move? He's looking right at me. Literally, he just looked at me. Uh, but okay. I mean, you shouldn't be able to see me. Look at that. It is pitch black. Oh shit, this doesn't even open, does it? No? At least there's a battery. Oh, is he coming towards me? Of course he is. Um, he obviously sees me. Is this, this is where I came from, isn't it? It is. Hey, dude. Alright, yeah, just going about your day. That's cool. I'm just gonna lock you in here. Okay, cool. Bye. Locked. Oh, 
What was that noise? Ooh, two batteries. Two for the price of zero, because you didn't pay for them. Congratulations! Well, that blows. Think I can make it? Wait a minute, you actually can go here? I... Wow, I actually assumed you weren't supposed to go here. Wait a minute, what's down? Eh, yeah, fuck it, who cares? Door needs a key. I'm coming! There's been a fire here. Look! Tetris! That way! Never seen that shape before, though. Very strange. The laundry chute needs three fuses. Of course it does! Two valves, and then two valves, and then three fuses. How inventive. Drive in the nails. No thanks. I'm good. Wait a minute, is that? Oh, I get it. It's like an upside down cross. It's like, I don't know, satanic, demonic, ritual imagery. It's like a normal cross, but upside down or something. I get it. I get it. Okay. It's cute. I like it. Cool. Oh, hey, dude. I'm just going to shut that in your face, alright? Is that cool? Uh, apparently that wasn't cool with him. Because he's breaking it down. Where am I going? Pray for revelation? Hey, what's up? Oh, you're a butcher, aren't you? Well, I'm not a pig or anything like that, so I guess I'm good. Hey, dude, what's up? Excuse me. He doesn't seem to be of sound mind. Nope. Is there anything in here? I don't see anything. I need fuses. I'm just gonna close this door, alright? Alright, cool. Have fun in there. Just chop your own meat, if you know what I mean. Oh, hey. Ow. I should have closed that door behind me. I didn't know he actually followed me this far.
Oh, he's actually following me all the way in here. All right. Okay, well, he found me. That wasn't a very good hiding spot. Seriously, where the fuck are these fuses? Yeah, you're chasing me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ow. I meant to close that. That didn't work. Let's go a different way. Let's go this way. Sound good? Alright, sounds good. Ooh, wait. Hold on. Need some batteries. Okay, we're good. Yeah, fuck off. Getting through that anytime soon. No. Oh, there's a fuse. Actually, I wonder if I've already picked up a fuse, but thought it was a battery, because it looks just like a battery. Wait a minute. Does that say times three? Wait, so I already have all three? Wait, what the what the fuck did I get all three? Okay. Apparently I have all three. I do? I guess I thought there were batteries or something. They're just saying I have three, right? Times three. Alright. Cool. Just gotta find that freaking laundry chute again. Well, he can't see me. Okay, apparently he can. I'm sure so I'm not going to die and replay the whole section, because I'm sure the game will make me. Hey, dude. Please don't chop my face. Chop his face. Or don't. Yeah, fuck off. Uh, that's a dead end. Oh, here we go. Wait, it needs three... But I thought I have three. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Dude, just fuck off. I don't even know what I just did. What the hell did I just do? Just go away. Please. Please go away. You're really starting to tick me off, man. Yeah, hit me in the back of the head. It's fine. Whatever. Alright, there you go. I'll shut you up. Use the upper floors to reach Father Martin. Alright, so I set the key... I sent the key somewhere. I guess I need to get downstairs. How do I get downstairs? Because I don't have the key. No, it's not in my inventory. Alright, you know what? Fuck this. I'm sick of this. I am going to look up a stupid walkthrough for the stupid part of this game. And I will use my knowledge that I gained from that walkthrough at the beginning of the next episode. For now, I'm going to end it. Anyway, just a mini sum up before the end of the game, because I'm pretty sure it's going to end soon, and that's what I'll give my full thoughts, but... So far, the horror in this game is dreadful in a bad way, not in a good way. It started out pretty damn creepy. There's a lot of good things about it. It was really setting up an atmosphere. And everything was working pretty well. And then they started to throw jump scares in my face. Which is kind of lame. 
Actually, no, not kind of lame. It was very lame. But I was thinking, all right, well, as long as it's not the only thing they do, it's not going to be too bad. And to their credit, jump scares is not the only thing they do. But... Everything that isn't jump scares just isn't very scary. It's just... It's silly and very mechanical, and I, I'm not really scared at all. Occasionally... I, occasionally I've been a little bit scared, aside from the beginning. The beginning was a bit scary because I, you know, hadn't realized how everything worked. My immersion hadn't been broken at that point. At least not completely. But at this point, I'm so out of the world that I'm just looking at it as like a joke. I, I think I just didn't finish one of my previous thoughts, but whatever. I can't remember what it was. I mean, I'm just looking at it as a joke. You, you know, turn these two valves, turn those two valves. Uh, people keep jumping out of you and having you shake your mouse. They jump out of a chair. That's happened multiple times. People having jump scares uh, by pressing their faces up against the window of their cells happened three times within five minutes. You need to collect three fuses to get the key. I mean, really, collecting fuses to get a flashing key. That does not make for good immersion. How to make Traeger juice. Step one, squeeze, does not make for good immersion. Yeah. It's not working. It's not working at all. So, in terms of the horror of this game, I'm actually very disappointed. It's worse than I thought. I was expecting it to be pretty good, but not great. And instead, it's actually pretty bad. However, in terms of everything other than the horror, this game is actually far better than I ever thought it would be. So, even though this isn't my final thoughts, obviously this is just the end of this episode, I still want to end on a positive note with my thoughts. With my quick summary of my current thoughts so far. Just everything else, other than the horror, in, in general, other than the horror, is really, really, really good. The graphics, the everything, the sound design. I'll go into more detail at the end of it. But yeah. The horror is, dis the horror is disappointing, but everything else is extraordinarily amazing. So it's not all bad. And that's why I'm still playing, because... If I wasn't enjoying this to some degree, I wouldn't be still playing, because I'm certainly not staying around for the horror, that's for sure. I'm sticking around for everything else. So anyway, yes, I will look at a walkthrough and come back with the solution, I guess. I mean, of course I could just bash my head against a wall and solve it myself, but the truth is, I don't really care. At this point, this whole game just feels like filler, basically. He need to look at his revelation. He, he want... I mean, the guy wants you to see this revelation, right? He wants me to see it. He's not trying to put obstacles in my freaking path. This crazy religious guy wants me to see this revelation. He wants me to. So then how come the only pathway is blocked? Did he lock it? Why would he lock it if he wanted me to see? Instead, it's like, okay, yeah, look, it's like they're teasing the end in front of my face. Here's the revelation, there's a big event. But you have to jump through these hoops and get some fuses and get the key to unlock the door to progress. It's, it's a grind. It's a time sink. Like, the game isn't even respecting... Me as a player. It's not respecting my time, it's just filler. So that's pretty <laughs> lame. But anyway, yes, want to end on a good note. Everything else is really, 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 really good. I mean, just look at that hand that is now missing a finger. Ew. 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 Okay, don't look at the hand. Alright, I hope everyone has enjoyed so far. And I will be back soon.